don't know where that cut off, but I was walking down and it was pitch black. I had the light for my iPhone. And it, I mean, it just wasn't doing enough. I got down here and it was steep as. I tried to go back up, fruitless. I tried to push on. And as you can see right here, well, right there, there's a ledge. That I didn't know how much of a drop but I can see now in the morning in the light if I do make that jump and then I can just slide on all the way down to the beach but I fucking found this ledge that is just perfect it was a little bit small but thank god it's sand so he scooped Keep some, uh, I made it hollow so my body can fit in it. Last night in the darkness, I didn't know how high I thought I was a lot higher. I mean, I am high, I'm really fucking high, but I, I thought I was higher. I didn't know how stable this ledge was at the end, in the end of the day. It's sand, it could have just fallen broke away thank god it didn't rain if it rained I think I would have I don't know I just did not I did not think about it I kind of it came in my mind a few times but I just stopped I stopped that thought I was just thinking I will get through I will get through I am freezing. I don't. I don't think I've got hypothermia. I mean, I'm just in my oh shorts, my kiwi top. I mean, oh, my t-shirt off last night, and I had it in my bag, so I put it around my knee to keep me warm because that was the cold. That was the coldest. And I've got a plastic bag around my left foot to try and keep it warm almost went to cramp a couple of times thank god I didn't because that would have been just hell even more so than I endured I'm just so happy that the lights up now I kept checking my watch counting down the hours I got stuck at quarter to eight it's now I think quarter past eight in the morning I think I did nod off a couple of times. But I was pretty much awake the whole night. Looking at the stars, I counted 27 shooting stars. One that was really close. Right, it's bright enough. I'm gonna... Oh, fuck me, that's still high. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna try and push on. Okay. I see a little bowl. All I've got to do is, oh Jesus, make it down here. Thank you, ledge. Fucking saved my life. nice and soft I can dig my heels in and there oh my god fuck that oh my god I'm fucking safe I'm fucking alive that's what I was afraid of that is what I was afraid of oh fuck me Fucking hell. Oh. Oh, I'm fucking alive. Oh. I'm a mess. But oh, I'm alive. That was uh fuck I don't believe it.
believe it. I spent all, oh, all night out. Learn from this, Rob. Be adventurous to a point. Oh, fuck. I'm alive. Last night was the scariest moment of my life. I think without a shadow of a doubt. As soon as I started to walk down the, uh, the sand dune, I knew I'd left it too late. I was too busy enjoying the sunset, taking pictures. And I went, oh, it's actually quite dark. I'd better go down. I thought I'd go down a different route. And yeah, stupidly, I had no idea where I was going. I think I got down two thirds of the way. And then it was pitch black. I used my, my light off my phone, uh, as you saw earlier. But I got to a point, and I just couldn't, I couldn't see anything. I was shining the torch, but because it was all... all the shadows that were casting, it just looked like there was a ten foot drop either side of me. I mean, thank God I found that little ledge. And that saved me. Even that was fucking hair raising. It was literally half the length, of, uh, well, half the width of me. I was lying on my left side for nine hours. And because I was in the dark, I could see the sea. I could see the tide coming in and out. And it looked a hell of a lot further away than it actually was. I mean, I probably still, I was probably still about 30 meters up. And I literally, I, I actually thought this might be it. I might come to my end if I, if I slip. I didn't know if there were rocks below me. I didn't know what was below me. I panicked, I screamed for help. But it was, I mean, it was pointless, absolutely pointless. Even throughout the night, I saw these lights flashing on the beach. And I thought it was someone, so I used my light on my phone to just like cover the light. But then I figured out that it was um, it was the light from the planes because I was so close to Auckland Airport. The light was just reflecting on the on the beach. So that was pretty. Pretty much rock bottom when I figured that out. But I saw 27 shooting stars last night. That's what kept me going. I made it a game. So stay awake. Don't fall asleep. Don't fall. And I set myself a target of seeing 10. I saw seven really quickly. So then I bumped up to 15. Then I saw 15. And I thought, well, everything, everything else is going to be a bonus. And there was, I think it was number, I think it was number 23. It had completely come in to the atmosphere. Um, it was over the sea. It was over the ocean. I saw it burn up. It lit up in the night sky. Beautiful. It was, it was beautiful. I mean, that was the only thing that was keep, keeping me going counting how many shooting stars I saw. So that was special. And then when the light started to come in the morning, oh, I felt relief, hoping that someone would go come running on the beach. Didn't happen. So then I thought, screw it, I'm just gonna get up, have a look. It turned out, all I needed to do was go down about 10 meters from where I was then I could jump over to the next the next dune. It was like 
three meter drop and then just walk all the way back down to the beach. I was so close. I was literally, I was literally there. But because it was pitch black last night, I had no idea. I'm an idiot, I'm an absolute fool. But I learned my lesson. I'm still gonna do crazy shit, but next time I'm probably gonna plan it a little bit better. But yeah, I'm alive. So I'm just at the airport waiting for Ellen to arrive. She's flying in from Wellington. Um, yeah, because I got stuck last night. I've got like loads of food left and beers. So I'm just like necking them down. Um, oh, and Juicy. I dropped my car off and they have showers in the washing machine. That shower had never felt so good. And I've got clean clothes. Yes. That was amazing. I felt, I feel like a, a new man. So yeah, I can't believe that's it. New Zealand done. Only eight days, not long enough. But shit, so I've I packed a lot in. South Island, I fell in love with you. Scenery is just literally out of this world. It really is. Bungee jump, facing my fears. Even to last night, it was like an experience that I will never forget. New Zealand, you've been amazing. Yeah, so yeah, next stop, Bangkok. Kia ora. So, as you can see on the plane, uh, we're stopping off in Sydney, which I didn't know we were going to do. Uh, so I stopped off in Sydney and then to Bangkok. Uh, sadly, it's just the two of us, myself and this one. Um, as you can imagine, I'm so tired from last night. I'm probably going to sleep all the way. Uh, but yeah, we just changed our money. And we got like, a hundred, no, how many, 500,000? I've never been to Thailand. So I don't know. I've, yeah, I've never worked with their money before. But it's crazy. So yeah, looking forward to getting there. Although I think it's going to be raining and like 36 degrees, so it's going to be weird. But yeah, the last chapter of our crazy long ass tour. Here we go. Thailand, we're just waiting to go through immigration, get our bags, go to the hotel and sleep. Right, the crazy fools let me in. So, oh, Thailand, here we come. We've only got a couple of days here before flying to Hanoi, so I think we're going to spend a few more days back in Bangkok before we fly out. Um, in a couple of weeks time, well in a few weeks. Right now where is Ellen? There she is. 